We all know that Generation Y is the best. However, I gotta be courteous and let all the other generations sit at our table just to say that they're in the same conversation. Audience, I'm your old Sylvie Q, Earthquake, a new day, fresh buzz, and life carefree. Welcome, my family, friends, to my channel, and new subscribers. So we're gonna start off like this. We got different generations, and everybody likes to say my generation or that generation was better than this generation. It's time to settle the debate and let me just run through this. I like to compare different generations to a battery because like a battery life, you go through a span where you are new, AKA you're born. And then towards the latter half of the life stop, the life cycle, you start to fade into black. So let's get it like this. We're gonna start with the first generation, well, that we know of in history. The silent era. The traditional where all the glamour of the movie screens and golden ages like they used to say. Black and white TV screens. Next, we're gonna move on to baby boomers. We could still see them nowadays. We'll just say back in the days, what some people like to say, they had the afros and of course, they got the different type of flair and style, the fur jackets and all that, and mink coats and big chains and all that. I don't know, or maybe I was talking about a different era. Speaking of different era, Generation X. Now that's all about, I gotta get mine. More individual, however, very business savvy. Now every generation is business savvy, but we'll just say during that era, a lot of money making moves. And I'm gonna leave it just like that. We're gonna move on to Generation Y, which I was a part of. Thanks parents, appreciate it. And we're gonna start to venture out to understanding ourselves, a different breed. And lastly, we're gonna have to settle with Generation Z. Hold on, I think they're trending. So anyway, the battery and generation comparison, I put like this. I didn't wanna put it on graph form because I felt like that would be a little bit too boring. Let me compare different generations to something that we use every day or that we know of every day. Batteries, because at 100%, it's all good. We, we're green. 75%, it's not 100%, however, it's still working in good condition. We're gonna move on to 50%. Now this is the seesaw battle of we're getting a lot of data, and not only that, the battery's starting to slow down. We're gonna move from 50% all the way to 25%. Now, this is not yet the danger zone. However, the battery is starting, you're starting to see the age on the battery. We reached 10%, we, we know what that is. We even look at our phones and different devices, that's red. That's this right here. And it's like, we're on the brink of realizing it's about the end of the line. So then when it flashes or it blinks, blink, 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 and then of course zero is self-explanatory. Compare batteries to dip, different generations because you know you have our different environments we have different personalities or in batteries case different models that we use for different situations and of course like I compared fruits and vegetables and mints to personality traits everybody has their own different personality traits and I just added a new one which is Heedful fig. 
Fig is a, it's not a fruit. However, it's a flower. Fig meaning like wise. It's being careful, being attentive, which I think that with time and age and also experience, that's where life lessons starts to, you start having flashbacks. And just like how we move on from different ages and different eras, you know, we go to work, we go to school, we go out party, and occasionally we do go out bowling. And throughout those interactions, a kid is born and we pass on lessons to our offsprings or just the next generation so they can learn from our past mistakes. So to put it simply, the generation battery is a figure of speech. So as we go down the line and we have battery circuit in this case, not the family tree, we start to see you have your grandparents, then you have parents, then you have their offspring slash brother, sister, slash cousins. And then we go down the line after all. We're somehow, some way connected to each other through life experience or just living here on earth. It's a blessing in disguise. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is the BS The Backstory to all my family and friends and new subscribers and like a battery, like different generations like I compared. We just keep on evolving and we keep on getting better with age. So walk easy. Seeing family and friends, where to begin, explain things. When I was younger then, living in the greatest life all depends. One love, carry on to the next event.